Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe tutorial. In this one, we're inside Adobe Animate. It isn't used as much as the other, like After Effects, tools like After Effects and Photoshop and uh, Premiere Pro, etc. Uh, InDesign, but it's an awesome Adobe tool. I'm going to teach you how to add fill to not just shapes, but to when you use your pen tool, because it's not immediately obvious. So let me just get right into this and show you how to fill shapes and color, or fill shapes, fill fill different things that you create. Again, not obvious inside Animate. It's a little different. So um, the first thing you'll do here, I'll show you, is I'll do a quick rectangle, and you just click the rectangle tool, and I'll just draw something out like this. And you'll see over here that the fill is on, and it's at 100% alpha. If I want to turn the fill off, I just click on that and well, it didn't work actually. So I'm gonna Command Z. I'm gonna draw this again, pardon me, watch this. So I'm gonna create a, a box like this, a rectangle. There's no fill as you can see here. And if I wanna fill it, normally you would click on a color and it would fill it inside the other programs. It doesn't work in this one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the selection tool I'm going to click on the box, and you'll see that I'm clicked on it because it's got the, the uh, arrow there with the, the head there. And then instead of going over here to hit fill, which is what we want to do as people that have used the other programs, you actually have to use the paint bucket tool right here. When you hit the paint bucket tool, it allows you to select the fill color, but it goes instead of here, it's down here. So if I click green, or let's just click a color, and then... I click on it, I select the color, then I have to go over and hover on it and left click. Now it's filled. Guys, this is very, very awkward for a lot of people that are new to animate or people that have used programs like uh, Photoshop or, or Illustrator especially. So I'm just going to delete all that stuff out. I'm going to create a new layer and I'll show you how to do that one more time just to make sure that I'm extra clear. I'm going to delete this layer and this is a blank layer. Now, normally, if you want to, if you know what color you want to fill it, go ahead, draw it out. You've got your fill in there. I'll Command Z. But if you go ahead and select No Fill, and let's say we're gonna use the, let's use the pen tool, the pencil tool. Let's go with, let's go with the pen tool. And I'm gonna just draw some weird shape like this. Okay, cool looking shape, whatever. It has a stroke. As you can see here, it has a black stroke of 5.2 pixels. However, there's no fill. And again, you want to click this fill button, the fill color, and it doesn't work. What you gotta do is you gotta double click on the shape. Now you'll see that the whole thing is selected because you'll see it with those shady little white colors and in, in between the black. So you'll see sort of, not marching ants, but you know, the black and white. Then again, you have to go over to the left side here and then down to fill color. Click on this, select the color. Let's go with some sort of red. Left click on it, that doesn't apply it. Then you gotta hover over top of it. And then you gotta click the, hold on just a second, I gotta select the right tool. I gotta click the paint bucket tool. Paint bucket tool, then hover, then add the fill, guys. It's a little bit tricky um, for those of you that are new to this. And I just wanted to show you this because I've been struggling with this a little bit. And it's a little frustrating for us uh, Illustrator and Photoshop users. So that's how you do that, guys. How you add fill color inside Adobe Animate. I got tons more tutorials coming up. 